The truth is this. Kamala Harris will protect your right to disagree with her about policies or ideas. And then, as we have done for centuries, we'll debate them. We'll work on them together. And we'll move forward. The other guy? He demands unquestioning loyalty. Says he wants revenge. I'm Harrison Ford. I've got one vote, same as anyone else. And I'm going to use it to move forward. I'm going to vote for Kamala Harris. What an idiot. I, sorry, guys. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. This guy is just like every other one of these celebrity clowns right now that is simping for the Matrix. He's sitting there literally saying that uh, Kamala will protect your right to disagree with her and her policies. Hmm. Let's look at what's going on now with half the country disagreeing with her, half the country not wanting her to be president. Does it sound like she's protecting your right to disagree with her? Does it sound like she respects your right to disagree with her? No, they're coming after you, right? She is using people like Obama and all these other celebrities and people in media to shame you into agreeing with her, right? Into denying reality, into denying your bank account and your credit card bills and the rising cost of just the basic cost of living, you know, and inflation. <laughs> she's not protecting you. So what makes you think that she's gonna protect you after she's elected? No, right? I'm, and I'm tired of these clowns like Harrison Ford and Eminem and the rest of these celebrities, Cardi B. I, what an embarrassment, man. What an embarrassment. I mean, just seeing that chick at the rally. I, is that really what you want the country to look and sound like? Is a, more Cardi B's? More thoughts? More of these 304s? Is that really who you want your daughters looking up to? Is that what you really want women in your life looking up to? Think about it, right? And, and this is why... In order to be a leftist, right, you really have to reject reality. You have to re just completely reject reality. You have to completely go against it. You have to completely gaslight everybody into believing what they see with their own two eyes and own two ears is not happening, right? You have to get them to just deny what's going on with their pocketbooks. Right? And Harrison Ford is no different. The, the guy is just a complete sellout, like the rest of them. Uh, and they're all just out of touch, right? These are all elitists, right? These are all people who are not just rich, but wealthy, right? They are absolutely wealthy. They have not gone out and touched grass in years, right? They are not living in the same neighborhoods that are being flooded with dangerous immigrants from other countries that their party is flooding these neighborhoods with, right? You'll never see the, you know, you'll never see like Beverly Hills, not too far away from where I live, Beverly Hills or um, Bel Air or Pacific Palisades or Malibu. You won't see any of these immigrants ever land there, right? They'll, but they'll land them in your community and then they'll tell you that it's not happening or they'll tell you it's not a problem or they'll tell you you're racist for not wanting them there while they will not take a single one of them in their neighborhoods, right? So getting back to uh, Indiana Jones here, who I, I've, I've just lost complete respect for, but I already knew he was on board with that. I, I'm not even shocked that he came out with a with a with uh, uh, an endorsement, right? I'm not even surprised at all. But it says a lot, right? It, it just says a lot, you know? And uh, at this point, I mean, it's, it's nuts to me that people who are literally hurting, I mean, half the country, I mean, the entire country is hurting um, financially, emotionally, you know, they, they talk about, oh, uh, we're gonna unite the country. That's what they were saying four years ago. Does the, does the country seem more united to you? Again, going back to uh, Harrison Ford's point, uh, that uh, Kamala is going to protect your right to disagree with her. <sighs> Just a flat out lie. Again, I don't care what side of the aisle that you're on, right? I am an independent through and through, right? I'm leaning more right these days just because 
uh, I'm a capitalist and I have a business and I'm just, you know, that's what happens when you get older, right? You're just not on board with uh, chaos. You know, so, um, so yeah, I mean, the fact that he's sitting there saying she's going to protect your right to do this and do that when she hasn't shown any signs of that whatsoever. As a matter of fact, she's shown the exact opposite, that she's willing to come after you, shame you. I mean, look at her political opponents. As much as they say, oh, you know, Karrison Ford's like, he's a dangerous individual. He wants revenge. Uh, he's not the one who's putting his political opponents in prison. Uh, they've gone after their political opponents like like crazy. I mean, just the ones off the top, top of my head, obviously Donald Trump is facing, what, a couple of hundred years in prison? Give me a break, man, on these trumped up charges, no pun. Uh, Steve Bannon just got released out of prison. Right? I mean, why is he in prison? You know, they're, just, they're, going, they're the ones who are going after their political opponents. So you cannot tell me that, you know, I have to sit here and deny what I see in here with my own two eyes and own two ears. Right? But that's what they want you to do. That's what the, the matrix, the left, is all about these days, including much of the right, right? I, I don't want to dismiss, like, make this a left-right thing because, as I always say, like 99% of the uh, left uh, Democrat party these days is the matrix, and about 75%, maybe as high as 80% are, uh, of, the, of the right are also part of that same establishment that is trying to screw you. Right? They might say these like nice conservative talking points from time to time and preach the free markets, but then all of a sudden, you know, during Pride Month, they'll they'll host like you know the they'll host uh, like these Pride events themselves, you know, or they'll bring on some like trans influencers, and <laughs> you have to ask yourself like why are they doing this, you know? Or they'll fire Tucker Carlson, right, one of their most popular journalists, like because he he stepped over the line, right? So you have to ask yourself like why would you do something like that if you're if you're not Part of the matrix yourself right but uh i am just completely disgusted by these celebrities who really and these leftist politicians and the ones on the right that want to make you believe that reality is not happening that what you're seeing is not happening right and this is part of the gaslighting this is i believe this is just one big psyop at this point. I really do believe that. This is one big psyop to drive people insane, to demoralize people, to weaken people in order to control the people. Simple as that. Simple as that. Right? It's simple as that. Um, and the fact that Harrison Ford is going to sit there and try to tell you that this this woman is going to protect your right to free speech. Give me a break. Uh, you know, that I have not seen. All you have to do is go to a Kamala rally. There was actually a viral video of a, a kid who went to a Kamala rally where he went to both a Kamala and a Trump rally. So first he goes to the Kamala rally um, wearing a, a Trump t-shirt, right, on purpose. And people were just attacking him screaming in his face go get out of here get out da, da, da. you know screw you and like all these obscenities and whatnot and he was like hey i'm just trying to make peace and i'm trying to make no get out of here right and uh then he went to the trump rally wearing a kamala harris shirt not a single person yelled at this guy people were giggling with him people were giving him hugs people were uh he was like i just want to make friends they're like sure you know it shows you it just goes to show you who really is the party of tolerance and acceptance and i don't even have to tell you this guys all you have to do is go on youtube and look at these rallies right go to uh and uh, there are a number of these videos where you see somebody pretending they're a leftist going to a trump rally and then they go to a, a, a you know a, a kamala rally and a, as a trumper right as a maga guy and it's there's a huge disparity right I, I mean you are if you go to a trump rally wearing a kamala biden tim waltz shirt you're gonna be you're gonna be fine right I, i'll put money on it nothing's gonna happen to you however if you go to a kamala rally wearing a maga shirt your life is in danger you are in danger you, there will probably be violence done against you so you tell me who's the party of tolerance here you tell me like who's the party of free speech? You go to any of these uh, like women's marches or uh, abortion rallies, whatever, and you tell them you're a Christian, you tell them you don't believe in abortion rights, see how much they respect your, your right to disagree. 
right? See how, see how that works out for you. However, if you go to the opposite, an anti-abortion rally, and you go there and you say, hey, I'm for uh, abortion, uh, nobody's gonna attack you, right? So Harrison Ford is a complete idiot. Uh, you know, Cardi B, all of these celebrities that they're just bringing up on stage, it's just so condescending and smug and elitist, right? And it just shocks me that half of the country, just a bunch of dumbasses, will, you know, mostly women actually, will vote for this. Because again, this is why, you know, I, I, I hate to say it, but this is why women were not given the right to vote previously up until 100 years ago. And even now, it's been 100 years they've been voting, they're still crying about, I only got, a, I only got to vote 100 years ago, you know? I, I, what am I supposed to do in 100 years? You know, I mean, b men basically built this country in, you know, a quarter of that time. But yet here they are, they've had like the right to vote for 100 years and still crying about how, uh, inequality. Go figure. However, um, they're the ones who are voting for this and they could care less about their fellow countrymen. Again, I teach this on my dating channel. This goes back to just basic female wiring is uh, they look out for themselves. They don't look out for you, their neighbors, their fellow countrymen. They only look out for themselves or the sisterhood. Whereas for men, we look out for everybody, not just us, not just our brothers, but our sisters too and our community and the country at large. We want to do what's best for the country. We want the best policies out there, right? And right now, according to just policy, that would be Trump. Maybe you don't like his personality. Maybe you don't like that he's outspoken like that. But these days, I mean, again, if you look at reality, it seems to me that it's not Trump who's unhinged. It's Kamala who's unhinged, you know? And that is just reality. I, I'm, I'm never going to, you know, jump on board and try to deny, again, what I'm seeing with my own two eyes and hearing with my own two ears. Mm-mm because that's what they want you to do so that they can control you, right? This is all, again, one big psyop. Part of propaganda, guys, the thing you have to understand about propaganda is um, is repeating the same talking points over and over and over and over until you go mad in your head, until you go just psychotic almost, right? I really believe the left has just become one big party of sociopaths they're literally just psychopaths at this point uh to just gaslight the whole nation uh, you know just pander to their minions and uh at this point i really believe these people are either demons or they are demon possessed i i, I mean whether you have faith or not you can't deny that it's, i mean that's what i'm saying I'm like there's no other explanation you're either a demon or you are demon possessed to have that level of just rejection of objective reality in you and, and spreading all the and, and spreading all this so-called misinformation and then claiming the truth and reality is misinformation unbelievable guys but anyway i'm gonna keep this one short drop your comments below i'm just gonna go you know i know the election's tomorrow but i want to go enjoy the uh la sunshine out here um, I'm right near Hollywood. I'm about to head there now. I just want to enjoy myself, enjoy my dogs, and forget about all this. But Harrison Ford's uh, political ad popped up, and I'm like, I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised. Him, Schwarzenegger, uh, they're all just the same simps, right? They're all they're all in this bucket, right? They're all just the same type of sellouts. And all these elitists, right? Selling you out, selling me out, right? The people that don't have their level of wealth, their level of fame, don't live in mansions, in these gated communities, you know, it, with big ass walls. They're sitting here talking about, oh, we don't, you know, we, do, we shouldn't have walls, but yet they're like, they have the largest, tallest fences around their properties. And if you get near it, I mean, you'll be in a lot of trouble, right? So, I mean, just the hypocrisy is off the charts. I can't stand the hypocrisy. Anyway, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of today's coaching video and I'll see you in the next one.